The term technical analysis might sound a little, well, technical, but it's actually pretty simple. Essentially, it's a strategy an investor may use to examine an investment's chart and attempt to forecast its future performance. Some investors may use technical analysis to attempt to identify when to enter or exit a stock position. When performing technical analysis, investors can use a variety of techniques and tools to analyze a chart. In this video, we'll focus on a few technical analysis basics, including trend, support and resistance, price patterns, and technical indicators. Let's start with the first technique, trend. Trend is the general direction a stock's price is moving. There are three kinds of trends. Up, which is a series of higher highs and higher lows. Down, which is a series of lower highs and lower lows. And sideways, which has roughly equal highs and lows. Some investors determine a stock's trend by identifying the direction of its highs and lows. Trend may be important because many investors believe that a stock will generally continue in the same direction it's been going. These investors would anticipate a stock with a strong uptrend to continue to rise, while one with a strong downtrend will continue to fall. Some investors draw lines to attempt to identify the trend. Investors can also draw lines to connect highs and lows. These lines are known as support and resistance levels. The next technique we'll discuss. Support and resistance are price levels that the stock has had trouble breaking through. If a stock breaks through support or resistance, it could be a signal to enter or exit. For example, suppose a stock breaks through resistance, which is a level it repeatedly pulled back from in the past. Because it broke through resistance, an investor may believe that there's a good chance that the stock will continue to rise. So, broken resistance may be a good time to enter. On the other hand, if the stock fell past a support area, it may continue to fall. This could be considered a good time to exit. After connecting support and resistance levels, a stock's price movement may resemble a certain shape. These shapes are called price patterns and are another technical analysis technique. Price patterns can build on support and resistance, allowing investors to attempt to predict more specific movements and try to point out even more precise entry and exit signals. There are many different price patterns. Some examples include simple shapes like triangles or flags, and more complex patterns like head and shoulders or triple tops. Let's look at an example. This is called an ascending triangle, and it forms when a stock's highs are hitting resistance, while its lows are steadily rising. Some investors might interpret the narrowing between the highs and lows as a signal that the stock's about to break through resistance. If it does, the stock's price is expected to rise in value right after the breakout. But not all investors exclusively use support and resistance and price patterns. Drawing lines and finding shapes can be subjective. Because of this, some investors may use technical indicators. Technical indicators are graphical representations of chart data. Each indicator displays chart data, like price and volume, in a unique way, giving investors another perspective of the stock's performance. Because technical indicators are created using formulas and data, they may give investors a more objective way to examine a stock's performance. A common technical indicator is a moving average line. This indicator averages the stock's price over a period of time and plots it as a line, which can help determine the overall trend. Moving averages can be calculated for any period of time, but one of the most common is 50 days. So what does a moving average tell you about an investment? Imagine a stock's price crosses above its 50-day moving average. This may indicate that the stock is outperforming its recent history. This could be an entry signal. Similarly, if the stock begins to fall and dips below its moving average, it could be an exit signal. Moving average lines are only one of many technical indicators investors may use. Other common indicators include price envelopes, Bollinger Bands, Stochastic Oscillators, and the Relative Strength Index. At this point, we've covered some basics of technical analysis. One thing to keep in mind is that technical analysis can help you identify potential entry and exit signals, but it offers no guarantee of success. After all, there is no way to predict the future. We've only covered the tip of the technical analysis iceberg. Learning how to use the techniques and tools we've discussed, as well as the many others out there, can advance your technical analysis skills. When you first start out on your trading journey, it can seem like a confusing and certainly a daunting task. This video will show you, as a complete beginner, how to understand the basics of candlestick charts. I'll explain it in a simple manner, in a way that I wish someone had explained it to me when I first got started. 
In future videos, I'll take you through everything you need to be a successful trader. If you're anything like me, then this is what you thought trading was. Confusing charts with indecipherable lines and strange indicators that didn't seem to make any sense. It was the land of bankers in front of rows of monitors and ulcer medication tucked into their shirt pockets. But that's not the case at all. By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand the basics of a chart and candlesticks. If we strip away all of the indicators from this chart, what we're left with is this. I took this from a five minute Forex chart. What you're looking at now is the raw data, what would be called naked price action. This is the most important information for any trader. It tells you exactly what the price is doing at any given period. Any of the indicators you may see overlaid on the screen, they all take the information from the raw data of the price action. As you can see, the chart is made up of lots of individual candlesticks. Candles tend to be either bullish or bearish. So on the left here, we have a green candle, which represents a bullish candle. Bullish simply means that the price increased over the time period. On the right, the red candle is bearish, which simply means that the price decreased over the period. When I'm talking about periods, what I mean is that each fully formed candle represents the price action over a specific time period. So if you're looking at a five minute chart, then each fully formed candle represents five minutes worth of price action. An hourly chart means each fully formed candle represents an hour's worth of price action. A daily chart, each candle represents a day and so on. Within the candles themselves, we can garner more information. The fat rectangular part of any candle is known as the real body. What the real body shows us is the specific price action relating to the opening and the closing price. So for the bullish candle, the bottom of the candle body shows the opening price and the top of the candle body shows the closing price. Bearish candles are reversed. So the top of the body is the opening price and the bottom of the body is the closing price since the bearish candle is displaying a price decrease. What you're going to see on charts more often than simply candles with real bodies are candles like this, with vertical lines stretching from both ends of the real body. Each of these candles is the same as in the green candle still shows a price increase and the red candle a price decrease over the time period. The real body of the candle still holds the information of the open and close price of each candle. You'll hear the vertical lines coming off of the candles referred to as different things. They're known as the shadows, the tails or the wicks of the candle. The information added by the shadows, tails or wicks is the highest and the lowest price of the period. This means that price would have touched the very top and very bottom of the wicks as the candle was forming before closing as you see them now. This is invaluable information for a trader and I'll explain more about candle patterns and qualities in a future video. For now though, let's stick to the basics. This is a five minute Forex chart of the US dollar Japanese yen. I've highlighted one of the bullish candles and as you can see from the box, all of the information of the candle is provided for you. This was a candle that formed between 6 and 6.05 a.m. on the 16th of April 2015. You can see the opening price, the high of the candle, the low of the candle and the closing price of the candle. You'll see one other type of candle on your charts and they look like these. As you can see, these candles have little or no real body. They're known as doji candles. What a doji candle is telling you is that price opened and closed at the same or very near to the same price. This is known because there is little or no real body. So although the price may have moved quite significantly during the time period, it closed back on or very near to its opening price. And that is the basic foundation of reading a chart. If we reintroduce the chart from earlier, you'll see that all of the information present on the chart is simply based around price action. Here we can see some bullish candles and the market pushes higher as price increases. Bearish candles show price decreasing and so the market is falling. You can also see that the vast majority of the candles have shadows, tails or wicks and usually they are visible on both ends of a candle. And finally, we can see some doji candles where price has opened and closed at the same price or very near to the same price.